انما اول سؤالين اجابتهم هو اللي انا جاي اتكلم فيه النهارده في البرزنتيشن عشان كده قررت تو انسر ذس توداي اي دو بيليف سينس اي ووز ان اي جي سي اس اي ستودنت باك ذن لاول الالفينات مش مهم امتى بالظبط عشان محدش يحسب اي يوز تو بيليف انه اتالنت اديوكيتد از ان ان سبيشاليزد سايكايتست يس Any talented educator is a psychiatrist at the first place. But without any need to study psychiatry, he's a psychiatrist by nature. And the talented psychiatrist is an unspecialized educator, believe it or not. All of what I do at the clinic, what differentiates me from others, is that I work as an educator. I educate people on how to change their lifestyles, how to shift their frames of thinking, How to see things from a different perspective. In our day, we talk about mental health in academia. We think that this is one of the most important topics that we all have to deal with all the time. Mental health or mental well-being in academia. How does the comparison? That's the point that we have to decisions on my behalf. Relevant. Okay. How about the comparison between two students that we see in our everyday life? Student A, the one in red. Student B, the one in black. As we see, students A life revolves around studying, studying, and studying. Anyone on earth could wish to have. He is that obedient, submissive, focused, determined kid. Who knows what he wants from life? What he wants from life is to study, then study more, then study more and more, then goes to bed. He is usually praised at school and praised at home. From teachers, school administrations, and parents, which is the mix we have here today, I guess. Student B has a life. We usually describe student B as distracted, losing focus, and we accuse him of achieving nothing because he looks magical in all of them. Yes, he is not one of the top of the notch athletes. He is not a swimming champion. He is not a soccer star. He is not the first in his class. He is not achieving awards in developing new games. But he is having. A deep lust, the life any kid, to be completely honest, should have. Yes, his IQ is developing, maybe faster than student B. But student B is developing his IQ maybe at a lower rate as well as his EQ, his emotional quotient. Let me tell you bluntly: when it comes to success in life, it's all about the EQ. When I meet someone at the clinic, he doesn't care about my uni grades. He doesn't care if I graduated from the School of Medicine with honors or not. And actually, what mattered is not the achievement. What mattered is the exposure that I got to get later. The two acts and the acts on the other side are showing the degree of stress. Let me correlate with the presentation, the great presentation of Islaska University, when they said they care about mental health. And I was about to clap with no one clap. Because I believe, and I have been waiting for them to say it. What do you do for the mental well-being of your students? Now, I can see people as a stress level rather than an achievement record. This guy is more prone to mental illness, by the way. Believe it or not. Especially, especially if we honor his academic achievement at high school by joining an unforgiving career such as medicine, engineering, which will increase the chances and probabilities of mental health more and more over time, by the way. This is a study held in LA in the USA showing that 
both extremes of grading at school, high school and university, those like at the extremes of the grading spectrum have higher tendency of mental illness. Yes, and mentally healthy people are those in the middle of the spectrum, those with B's, A's, but they understood the subject are usually mentally healthy because I can see the guy having exposure to other aspects of life. You are here to get educated, not to grasp the grades only. And this is why I used to introduce some concepts in the minds of my students. I used to tell them, never chase grades, chase learning. Grades come as a side effect of learning. Yes, believe it or not. And they look at me and they feel like a liar you are. Look who is talking. The one who achieved the top record in the IGCSE in the last 20 years is telling us never achieve grades and I answer yes and I mean what I say. The second tip I always tell my students, after you graduate, don't chase money. Money is very important. Yes. I don't... Uh, Assume being non materialistic and this blah blah blah, I never believed. Cards, I never believed in this. Money is very important, but never chase money. Chase success. Money comes as a side effect of success. Actually, when I'm talking about mental health in academia, I have to mention the most important challenge that we face on daily basis as academia. From the psychiatrist's point of view, the burnout syndrome. You know burnout syndrome? The first question here that you should have a class is the right now for you. The one that is shocked at me, the committed at me, the one who will be who will be the guy that will call me and have a talk with Sarah. The one that is shocked at me. 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 The one that is شو لها يعني في حياتي ماشيه حلو بيعيط طول الليل قلت يمكن مختلف شويه كده سيبه وقلت له اكله حلوه ولا يجيبه بكره ربنا يكرمه ويذاكر صحي تاني يوم زي اليوم اللي قبله نفس تشينج ليترلي نفس تشينج بالعكس ابتدي اخش في حاله من اللام ومالاه والتملك قاعد في اوضته وقافل عليه مطول دمه مطول شعره مش عايز يبني استحمام واما بكلمه عن نفسه هو بيقول عن نفسه اللي بيخليني مكسوف اهزاه، يعني انا نفسي اقول له كلمتين بايخين اللي هو بيقوله عن نفسه اهو اي حاجه انا هقولها عليه. هي بتتكلم وانا مش شايف انها شايف غير موقف الدروب بيتحرك قدامي. ليه ليه؟ ابني انت شاطر؟ تقول لي اه. فله يعني شمعه منوره الواد ما بيبطلش المذاكره تقول لي اه والله. تقول لها يا ابني عنده بيرجع وكمان يا ابني. This is the five piece model. Of burnout syndrome, the five piece model is my development of description. That's why we use nowadays. The five piece model of burnout syndrome, when the kid or the teen agent is doubting himself or herself, is demotivated for the time, no motive to do anything, detached from social, familial, or academic practices. The three aspects of functioning in life. Yes, believe it or not, the academic function is not the only aspect of function. You didn't do one, two, three, you didn't help me enough, and you start doing the most common mistake, listening to what you did. And then the next one is the next one. 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 The next one is اللي كنت بقول عليها بشوية بيقول عن نفسه أو حاجة كتير من اللي أنا هقوله عليه لو قررت أتكلم عنه. The five days of the burnout syndrome. البلد كده فضل يحرق 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 على المكنة الأربعة هي دي ماشين يا جماعة والله. It's a learning machine the frontal cortex. The learning cortex is a machine. فضل يحرق على المشين ده لما المشين عايز. He needs a break to provide a shoulder to cry on. This is number one for us. Number two for us. Don't push. If you can't pull, 
Why call like me? Give a hug. If you can't pull, please don't push. And you push, you push. See more. يعني من الاخر اعمل اكثر حاجه الاب والام اللي بتخش يعملوها لان الام تحكيها المامز. الاب اللي يحب يبقى مثلا في البيت ضمن منه انه فاهم اللي معاك بتكبر بس ده موضوع غير كده الام هي اللي بتحب تبقى اكتف طول الوقت في البيت. بي باسف جو اجانست يور نيتش ودي مسج لكل ام ابنها سفري في كبير ماوس. تيب نمبر 3 الاو ذا جاي تو امبلغ يشد الفيشن. أوّلوا من على الكتاب فورا، والله العظيم ما هيشوف حاجة في الكتاب في الموعد ده. هيقعد مش شايف إيه. هارد بريك يعلى، سلامة زيتين، سواجد أول نايت. يس، تيرن أوت. إتس أ كلينيكال سايكياتريك سندروم. أنا مش بكلمك عن وجهة نظر شخصية، دي اللي أنا بسكرايب إن ذيس واي. بس السندروم أكيد ستوب ماي إنفانش. إتس أ سايكياتريك ديسبورت. الله يكون فرقته أمبلا سيبه يلعب سيبه يفتح الفيديو جيم يخرج حقه فيه سيبه ينزل مع أصحابه يقف شوية لأنه لما بيشد الفيشة بيرجع يعرف يشتغل أحسن من الأول How long could it take يعني أعمل الحاجات دي لمدة قد إيه؟ A week طب لو بعد الأسبوع يا دكتور مفيش تحسن هاتي أنت عليه يا دكتور أول دي أي سايكر He will need psychiatric help. I am telling you, and I am a professional psychiatrist. But it's not that serious. Yeah, two or three sessions will do your job. Because we are not going to be able to take care of the dunya class. The guy who has the right to have the best for the rest of his life will not be able to push. Ask your kid what does he or she want to do, and from their bucket list. شوز وات يو سي ابروبري از ا بيرنت تو البرجر ما عنديش مشكله انك تقول او لا انا ما بقولش هو وافق عيال تو باي ذا وي اند اوسو هاف بين تولد باي مي اور ذير اور ذير كيدز يعني مش عايز اعتبر ان في ناس هنا انا لابستها عشان ده مع شويه الشعر الابيض يعني ما بينبسطنيش قوي ولكن ولادي اللي قاعدين هنا عارفين ان انا ما هارش Yes, I'm not that. يعني smooth and kind and loose and all that. But I always involve them in the decision making process. What the man is doing, baby, I'm good at the work. If the girl, she was one of the best students in my class. She was one of the best students in my class back ten years ago, and she decided after studying A level biology to join art and design. When she was able to send me her idea, I bought it and I told her, good luck, my young artist. And she is now involved to be a really good one. Involve them in the decision making the process, involve them in their lives, starting from trivial decisions to the big ones. The decision of Atul Kulayyid, he the Qarabi, 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 My family was smart enough to convince me to join medicine. They were not harsh enough to push me into medicine. My dad was smart enough after me receiving a scholarship, full accreditation, and tuition 100%, studying business at the University of Cambridge. Look how smart is my dad to convince me to drop this and join the faculty of medicine HLC. 